Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in about two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and I was talking with my great friend, Wendy Reed, the other day. She's a life and work coach specializing in mental fitness and helping people through stuck places, and she's brilliant. So the conversation turned in this turned into this concept about both and and how we hold and walk through emotions. How do we hold both joy and sadness or joy and happiness? Wendy believes we have the capacity to hold both because joy is an underlying current that runs through our bodies while happiness or sadness is an emotion. It comes and goes. There's some research that indicates we can't hold two emotions at once, like happiness and anger. It's hard to smile and be angry. Our brains can't process this. But joy, perhaps, this is not really an emotion as much as a state of being. Maybe that's the aha moment, to think about what joy is for you. Can you see how it's the underlying current of your aura, of your being? if that's true for you, right? Are you lumping in joy as an emotion when perhaps it's something different altogether? Wendy argues, and I agree, that even if you are depressed, you can feel moments of happiness. Even in grief, you can find happiness and feel joyful. I invite you to explore what joy means for you. And if you conclude that it's this underlying current of being, as Wendy suggests, Maybe there is an aha moment in this exploration for you too. So until next time, remember, kindness is contagious.